2008, marked a milestone for Marvel Studio, bringing one of the most beloved superheroes from comic to the big screen. And none other than Iron Man himself. And then it took them 10 years to build a cinematic universe, with the central character being the billionaire genius Tony Stark. Then Captain America, Thor, Guardians of the Galaxy, to Black Panther, Spider-Man, Doctor Strange, achieved great success when stepping onto the big screen in turn. Make the global audience go from surprise to excitement. And Avengers. Infinity War, as a grateful gift of Marvel Studio for their companions, when building up this vast cinematic universe. In 2012, no one thought the Avengers could be successful, when a movie had six main character lines. Six years later in 2018, when Marvel released the Fairy poster of Avengers, Infinity War, with more than 20 people, the world once again thought, filmmakers will not be able to create a miracle. But in the end, the Russo brothers proved otherwise. There is a terrible investment of $300 to $400 million, but Avengers, Infinity War, it is not difficult to bring profits to the producer. When it became the first superhero movie to gross over $2 billion worldwide. Besides, Infinity War also received countless compliments from critics. The film's visual effects received multiple nominations at the 91st Academy Awards. According to data from the review site Rotten Tomato, Infinity War received 85 tomato meters and 91 audience points. At the end of the movie Thor, Ragnarok, the holy land of Asgard was destroyed, so Thor decided to put all the people on a ship to move to Earth to settle. On the way, suddenly their ship statesman was stopped by Thanos' giant sanctuary too. Half of the Asgardians on board were killed by the Black Order, the children of Thanos. The rest of the Asgardians may have somehow teleported to Earth, but the film doesn't reveal how. One of them, named Ebony Ma, mumbles that the survivors should be glad to die at the hands of Thanos. Thor tries to resist Thanos, but not his opponent. He also threatens Loki to hand over the Tesseract Cube, which is known to be the Space Stone. Otherwise he will kill Thor. Suddenly, Hulk appeared to knock Thanos, but in addition to being big, Thanos was also very strong. He quickly defeated the Hulk. Thor tried to punch Thanos, but it was like a locust kicking a car. He was quickly tied up by Ma with his metal manipulation powers. Hulk was beaten and bruised all over. Fortunately, Heimdall used his last bit of magic, using the Bifrost Bridge to teleport Hulk to Earth. Enraged, Thanos killed Heimdall, much to Thor's heartache. Thor swears him will pay the price for that action. The previous Tesseract was dropped on the floor, presented by Ma to Thanos. He crushed the Tesseract, and placed the Space Stone in the Infinity Gauntlet. Now in possession of two stones, Thanos ordered his children to prepare to invade Earth to retrieve the remaining stones. Loki then abruptly interrupts the conversation, by pretending to pledge allegiance to Thanos. In doing so, he made a bold move, with the intention of killing Thanos with a dagger. Thanos sees through Loki's efforts. He uses the new stone to control and proceeds to grab Loki by the neck. Thor could only helplessly watch as Thanos broke Loki's neck and killed him right in front of his eyes. Thanos then used the Power Stone to destroy the statesman ship. Then he and his cubs disappeared immediately. Thor falls to his knees holding Loki's body, while the ship begins to explode. On Earth, Hulk teleports across the Bifrost Bridge, crashing into a New York cathedral, which is being guarded by Doctor Strange and Wong. He transforms back into Bruce Banner, and panics to inform Strange that Thanos is coming. They immediately went to find Tony Stark to discuss a plan to fight against Thanos' army. Stark is happily dating Pepper Potts and talking about their upcoming wedding. After that, Stark and everyone discussed the Infinity Stones at the Cathedral. 
and they surmise that Thanos is about to come here to retrieve the Time Stone in Agamotto's eye, which Strange is holding. Along with that is the Mind Stone that Vision possesses. Banner asserts that Thanos is the most formidable enemy they will face. Also revealed that he was Loki's sponsor during the Battle of New York. And he will erase half of the universe if he gets all six of the Infinity Stones. Stark offered to simply destroy the Time Stone, but Strange refused because he and Wong had sworn to protect it with their lives. Banner asks Vision where he is, and Stark admits that he's lost track of him. Stark updates Banner with everything that has happened since he left Earth. The Avengers have disbanded, and he no longer talks to Steve Rogers. Banner begs Stark to call Rogers, insisting that whatever conflict comes up between them doesn't matter compared to what's to come. Convinced, Stark took the phone Rogers had sent him after the Avengers Civil War, and prepared to make the call. However, at that moment a loud noise was heard. It turned out that a circular spaceship appeared in the sky of New York causing panic in the streets. Strange used magic that made the air seem to stop. Ebony Maw and another son of Thanos named Cull Obsidian faced them. Meanwhile, Peter also saw the ship from afar, so he quickly swung the spider's silk to the place. A chaotic battle broke out in the streets between the two factions of good and evil. But Banner couldn't transform into Hulk despite his best efforts. With the power to control objects, Mach quickly overpowered Strange. But luckily, his magic cloak was able to rescue Strange in time. Stark is being attacked by Cull, but fortunately Peter comes to help. He also tried to chase and save Strange from Ma, but the two were pulled upwards by the spaceship. Wong also comes to Stark's aid in trapping Kull into the North Pole, by opening the portal with the dual ring. Stark immediately flew up to chase and infiltrate the spaceship. He also ordered Friday to unlock the Iron Spider suit and move in to help Peter breathe easier. He's so happy to be given another Spider-Man suit. But Friday immediately opened the parachute to bring him home. However, Peter still managed to hold on, he got into the spaceship to help Tony Stark. Although he was very worried about the Spider-Boy's safety, there was no way to bring him back now. Stark decided to work with him to find a way to save Strange, who was being tortured by Ma to hand over the Time Stone. Knowing that Ma is very strong, so they decided to shoot a hole in the spaceship, causing him to be sucked out into space to die instantly. Peter was also quick to capture Strange. And thanks to the new suit spider legs, they're all safe. While Strange advocated a return to Earth, Stark suggested keeping the ship's voyage intact to create an element of surprise before Thanos and destroy him. Avoid many losses when fighting on Earth. Strange agreed but warned Stark that he would protect the Time Stone, even at the expense of Stark or Parker. Meanwhile on Earth, Wong must return to protect the Cathedral. And Banner finds Stark's phone and decides to call Rogers. In space, the Guardians of the Galaxy Squad received a signal of help. So they came to this area and found the ruins and corpses of countless Asgardians. The ship accidentally crashes into Thor and finds him glaring. So it turns out that Thor survived the explosion on the Statesman that Thanos caused. He begins to talk about how Thanos killed half the people of Asgard to get the Space Stone, and destroyed the planet Xandar to get the Power Stone. The stone that in Guardians of the Galaxy Season 1, Peter Quill gave it to the Nova Army to protect. Gamora also begins to recount how Thanos traveled from planet to planet killing half the population. And he can do the same to the entire universe with a snap of his fingers when he collects all six stones. Thor thinks that Thanos will go to nowhere to get the reality stone from the collector Tivan. But Thanos is so strong that he can't stop him now without a weapon. So he decided to set out to Nidavellir, the place where the god's weapons were made, to ask Eitri to make for himself a weapon that could kill Thanos. Thor leaves with Rocket and Groot, while Quill, Gamora, Drax and Mantis depart for nowhere. Meanwhile, Proxima Midnight and Corvus Glaive, two other children of Thanos, ambushed Vision. He is trying to live a normal life with Wanda in Scotland. Due to a fatal sneak stab, Vision is very weak, while Maximoff is nearly impossible to defend against both attackers. When the two were very desperate, suddenly a black shadow appeared behind the tracks. It turns out that Rogers arrived in time to rescue, followed shortly after by Falcon. And Black Widow. Proxima Midnight and Corvus Glaive were mortally wounded by a council beating. 
they immediately retreated by teleporting onto the spaceship. Recalling how Thanos destroyed half of her compatriots, killing her parents, how to adopt her and turn her into a weapon. Gamora made Quill promise her that he would kill her if she was captured by Thanos. Although very reluctant, Quill had to agree. When they arrived at Nowhere, they witnessed Thanos brutally questioning the Collector about the location of the Reality Stone. Unfortunately, the group made a noise that made Thanos aware of their presence. Gamora charged forward and quickly defeated the Titan. Thinking she had killed him, she fell to her knees and burst into tears. However, the reality scene suddenly changed. Nowhere turned into a desolate place. Because Thanos has obtained the reality stone and is using it to create a massive illusion. He broke the illusion to reveal a nowhere engulfed in flames. Thanos had been waiting for Gamora to arrive, for he knew that she was the only one who knew the location of the soul stone. Thanos easily subdued Gamora, and transformed Drax, Mantis, into monstrous forms thanks to the reality stone. Quill intends to shoot Thanos in the head, but Gamora begs Quill to keep his promise and kill her. Thanos pushed Gamora closer to the gun and invited him to do it. Despite his grief, Quill pulled the trigger. However, the gun only shoots harmless bubbles. Thanos was complacent, then teleported away with Gamora. At the Avenger headquarters on Earth, Rhodes discusses recent events with General Ross. He is indignant at Vision's disappearance. Rhodes counters that Vision is only missing because of the Sokovia Accords, he begins to regret signing it. Rogers, Wilson, Romanoff, Vision and Maximoff arrive. Ross still insists on arresting them all. But Rhodes cut off the transmission immediately. This action meant the end of his military career. And join with old teammates. Banner also appears, participating in a brief reunion with the people. After discussing Thanos, together, the team decided that the Mind Stone must be destroyed. And Wanda is the only one strong enough to do it. However, in order to destroy the stone without killing Vision, Roger suggested that they all go to Wakanda. In Wakanda, T'Challa and Okoy give Bucky Barnes a new vibranium arm. He recovered his mind and was free from HYDRA's control. When transported back to the giant ship Sanctuary 2, Gamora told Thanos that she did not know the location of the Soul Stone, and called her adoptive father a madman, for his plan to destroy half of all life in the universe. Thanos still insists on what he is doing right, is the perfect balance. He tells of her home planet Zen Huberi, which is on the verge of collapse due to overpopulation. How it thrived when he wiped out half of the planet's population. Thanos also began torturing Nebula in front of Gamora, by slowly pulling out parts of the cyborg's body. Unable to bear the sight of her sister being tortured, Gamora revealed that the Soul Stone was hidden on Vormir. Meanwhile Thor and Rocket and Groot land in Nidavelli, where the forges are frozen and dark. They encounter Eitri, currently the only dwarves left. And he explains that Thanos promised to let 300 dwarves live if he made him the Infinity Gauntlet. But Thanos didn't keep his promise, after getting the gauntlet, he finished off all the other dwarves, leaving only Eitri with his crippled hands. While paralyzing the dwarf so he can never forge anything else. Thor tries to convince Eitri to work together, they have enough power to defeat Thanos. To do so, Eitri plans to create a new weapon for Thor called Stormbreaker, a super powerful weapon that can summon even the Bifrost Bridge. Aboard the Sanctuary 2, Nebula attempts to free herself and sends a message to the Guardians of the Galaxy, asking to meet them on Titan. Stark, Strange, and Parker unsteadily land the ship on Titan's surface, nearly destroying the ship. Soon after, they were ambushed by the Guardians because they were mistaken for Thanos minions. After a few tense minutes, Quill realizes that Stark is also an Earthling, and trusts to work together against Thanos. While the rest of the party tried to come up with a plan to ambush Thanos, Strange used the Time Stone to see into the future. He then said that out of the 14,605 futures he saw, they had only one chance of winning. Thanos and Gamora teleport to Vormir. They are greeted by the Red Skull, who is currently acting as the guardian of the Soul Stone. Red Skull is the main villain leading the organization Hydra, transported here by the Tesseract. The Red Skull tells Thanos that he must sacrifice what he loves most in order to get the Soul Stone. 
Gamora found it amusing because she assumed that Thanos didn't love anyone or anything, so he wasn't capable of sacrificing anything to get the stone. But suddenly Thanos was crying. She was skeptical at first, but Red Skull Schmidt said that the Terror wasn't crying for himself but he was crying for her. Gamora tried to commit suicide but failed. So that Thanos had the opportunity to sacrifice his daughter by throwing her off the cliff. He passed out and when he woke up was in possession of the Soul Stone. Meanwhile the Avengers take Vision to Wakanda and are greeted by T'Challa. They ask Shuri. Can she safely extract the Wisdom Stone from Vision? And she confirmed it could be done, but that would take quite a while. Wanda was ordered to stand by the operating table, ready to destroy the stone when it was removed from Vision. Moments later, large spaceships crashed to the ground, landing outside Wakanda's protective energy barrier. Meanwhile, Thor and Rocket successfully revived the core of the star Nidavellir. But due to the forge being damaged, Thor is forced to risk his life to use his own body to keep the smithy's door open. As the massive army of Outriders led by Midnight and Kull approached Wakanda, T'Challa assembled the army of Dora Milaje, the Wakandan royal guard. Border tribes and Jabari tribe led by M'Baku along with Rogers, Barnes, Wilson, Rhodes, Romanoff also assembled. Banner used the Hulkbuster suit to confront Thanos' army, buying time to give Shuri enough time to separate the stone from Vision. At first the monster's Outriders dared to blindly pierce the protective energy barrier surrounding Wakanda. Many of the monsters died instantly and only a few managed to make it through. However, they started moving around the edge of the barrier. Banner warns the team that the monsters are capable of attacking from many directions. There won't be enough force to fight them then. T'Challa decided to open a door of the energy barrier to confront them directly. This strategy worked, but a fierce battle began. Meanwhile, Thor is risking his life to draw the full power of the star's core. Enough time to help melt the special metal needed to make Stormbreaker, Thor almost died. Eitri succeeded in casting the axe, but could not find the handle. Groot sacrificed his arm to serve as a handle for Stormbreaker, and activated its thunderbolt power to revive Thor. Despite defeating many enemies, the Avengers and Wakandan's armies were quickly overwhelmed by the Outriders. Due to their large number. While everyone is being devoured by the monsters, Thor opens the gate of Bifrost with the axe in his hand and appears with Rocket and Groot. God Thor used Stormbreaker to reverse the battle, defeating the invaders. Meanwhile on Titan, Thanos was greeted by Strange. During a brief conversation with Strange, Thanos revealed that Titan was once his home. Thanos proposed killing half the population of his entire planet when the population became too large. But that was not done, resulting in the destruction of the entire planet. Believes that this action is right, and that Thanos will perform it for the entire universe as soon as all six Infinity Stones are obtained. After the conversation, Stark appeared to greet Thanos by shoving an entire building into his head. However, Thanos was unharmed. He used the Reality Stone to transform a swarm of bats that attacked Stark. Then all the other Guardians also appeared to attack Thanos as planned. After a while, Nebula also arrived and distracted him. Taking this opportunity, Strange, Parker, and Drax tried to hold on to Thanos' arms and legs, while Mantis uses her powers to put him to sleep. Although she tried her best, Thanos was still half awake and half asleep. Stark and Peter tried to remove the gauntlet from Thanos' hand. However, when Nebula assumed that Thanos had killed Gamora, Quill became enraged and attacked him. Quill accidentally hit Mantis' hand, causing Thanos to wake up. He grabbed the glove just as it was removed. The fight turned in Thanos' favor, as he began using the full power of the Infinity Stones, quickly knocking everyone back. Thanos then confronts and overwhelms Strange. But Thanos realized that Strange never used the Time Stone in this war, and he hid it. Next Thanos confronts Iron Man and is punched by him for a painful punch, causing Thanos to respect. However, with his unmatched strength, Thanos quickly ended the fight by stabbing Stark in the stomach, seriously wounding him. As Thanos prepared to finish off Stark, Strange agreed to hand over the Time Stone to Thanos, on the condition that he spare Stark.
Thanos agreed, he took the Time Stone and then left Titan, going to get the last stone present on Earth. Stark asked Strange why he sacrificed the Time Stone just to save him. Strange insists it's the only way. In Wakanda, the Black Order unleashes Threshers, a massive weapon of great damage, on the battlefield, prompting Wanda to join the fight to save Romanoff and Okoy. What no one realized, however, was that Corvus Glaive had successfully infiltrated the lab. He defeats Shuri and the guards, before they can separate the stone from Vision Glaive then attempts to steal the Mind Stone from Vision. Vision tries to flee to a forest, but is still overpowered by Corvus Glaive and Cull Obsidian. Banner quickly came to his aid, and after a long struggle, although still unable to transform into the Hulk, he managed to kill Cull Obsidian. Meanwhile Rogers arrived just in time before Vision was finished. He fights against Corvus Glaive. Then Vision took Corvus Glaive's own spear and stabbed him from behind. Meanwhile Midnight is also killed when Wanda throws her into a Thresher's track. In Thor's presence, the Black Orders were quickly defeated, and the Avengers seem to have won. However, now Thanos has teleported to Wakanda to get the Wisdom Stone. The Avengers including Okoy, T'Challa and Groot gather to protect Vision. But Thanos easily defeated them one by one. Realizing they have no other choice, Vision asks Wanda to destroy the Wisdom Stone, even though it would kill Vision. She reluctantly agrees in heartbreak, and successfully breaks the Mind Stone before Thanos can get it. And blow up both the Stone and the Vision. Rogers was able to hold off Thanos for a moment to the Titan's surprise. However, Thanos used the power of the Time Stone. He reverses time, restoring Vision and the Mind Stone. He crushed Vision's skull and took out the Wisdom Stone. In the end, he collected all six Infinity Stones. Thanos was about to snap his fingers, but Thor lunged forward and hurled Stormbreaker at the Mad Titan. The lightning power of the axe seriously injured Thanos. Thor then pressed the Stormbreaker axe deep into his chest, causing him pain. However, Thanos mocks Thor for not aiming for his head, and snaps his fingers, completing the plan. Thanos entered the Soul World, where he met Gamora as a child and after a brief conversation he returned to the real world. The gauntlet was deformed by the enormous amount of energy it produced. Thor angrily asked Thanos, What did you do? When heard rumbling throughout the universe, Thanos just smirked at him and teleported away. As Thor was dazed not knowing what was coming, Barnes suddenly turned to ashes in front of Rogers. The impact of the snap caused half of the Wakandan army to disappear. T'Challa, Groot, Wanda and Wilson gradually turned to ashes. Survivors gathered up. Round Vision's body. They are terrified and can do nothing but accept defeat. On the planet Titan, Mantis, Drax, and Quill gradually disappeared. Before being dissolved into ashes Strange tells Stark that, there is no other way. Parker was the last to disappear. He cried to Stark that he didn't want to die because he was so young. Stark suffered psychological trauma and lamented his failure. Nebula, the remaining survivor, says that Thanos has achieved his goal. Thanos begins his retirement on a distant planet. He rested while leisurely watching the sunrise. Thanos finished the job and smiled lightly at his victory. In the after-credits scene, Nick Fury texted Captain Marvel and then he too disappeared to ashes.